In this video, we're building an Apple-style scrollable widget view in SwiftUI. You've probably seen this kind of smooth scrolling on iOS, clean cards, dynamic paging, and subtle animations. The whole layout is driven by data and fully tracks which card is in focus. You'll learn how to build this from scratch using modern SwiftUI tools, like scroll target layout, scroll position, and scroll transition. Let's dive in. This is the data model for each card, identifiable so SwiftUI can loop through each item using for each. It knows how to tell them apart using the ID. Hashable required when you use scroll position ID. SwiftUI needs to compare items and track which one is currently in view. This line means that when we create this view, we have to pass in a card item. It won't work without it. Once we have that, we can use item to access all the data inside, item image name and title description. It's like saying, hey, give me a card's data and I'll use it to build the view. We show the card image with a fixed height and rounded corners. We add a gradient at the bottom of the image. Why? To make sure the text stays readable on bright images. Now the important part, the stops. A stop is just a color at a specific location in the gradient. At location 0.4, we use transparent white. At location 1 the bottom, we use a dark color with 80% opacity. So it fades from clear to dark. And what is LD color? That's a custom color that switches automatically. In light mode will be white, and in dark mode will be black. This makes sure the gradient always works with your current system theme. This places the card's title and description at the bottom left corner. We use a vertical stack to align the text nicely, and we add some padding so it doesn't touch the edges. This keeps track of which card is currently visible in the scroll view. We use state so that SwiftUI can update the view when this value changes. We start by setting it to the first card in the list. Later, we'll connect this to scroll position ID. So whenever the user scrolls, visible item updates automatically. This is how we know which card is in focus and trigger animations or indicators. We loop through all the cards inside a vertical scroll view. Each card uses scroll transition to animate how it appears and disappears. Phase's identity means the card is in the center is visible. When it is, we show it at full opacity and full scale. When it's not, we fade it and shrink it a bit. Clean transition, smooth scroll. ID is the item, gives each card a unique identity so Swift UI can scroll to it. Scroll target layout. This marks the layout like your VStack as the target for scroll behavior. Without this, scroll target behavior and scroll position won't work. It tells SwiftUI. These are the views you should align in the center and track. Hides the default scroll bar just for clean UI. Scroll target behavior. Off type, view aligned. Make sure scrolling snaps each card into place, usually aligned to the center of the screen. scroll position, and inside your will pass invisible item. This keeps track of which card is currently in view. It automatically updates the visible item as you scroll. We give the card a light background, rounded corners, and a border to match the style. We also set the height to 200. This is important so the scroll view knows how much space each card should take. The padding controls the spacing on each side, that's all. This shows small dots on the right side to indicate which card is currently visible. The dot for the visible card is bigger and uses the primary color. The rest are smaller and gray. The animation makes the transition smooth when scrolling. Simple, clean visual feedback for the user. 